What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we are talking magnum worms. We have another underwater video for you. We're taking these big magnum worms, going subsurface and showing you guys what they look like underwater. So when we talk about big worms, magnum worms, we're talking about giant worms. This right here is a five inch Senko. This right here is a 10 inch magnum stick bait worm. Look at the size of that rubber worm. This right here, this is your normal trick worm. Check out the size of this Excite Baits trick worm. So we're gonna head subsurface underwater and show you guys what these magnum big worms look like underwater. It is summertime, it is hot outside, I like to throw a big worm in the summertime. Hopefully you guys have had a chance to follow along our previous videos where I talked about the differences between straight tail worms and ribbon tail worms, summertime fishing, big worms. If not, I'll leave a link to it right up here in the corner. But uh, let's head subsurface and take a look at some of these big worms. So magnum worms, today I have five magnum worms for you. One wacky rig, two straight tail, and two ribbon tail. The first worm, is gonna be this 10 inch Senko. This is actually a Magnum Baits stick bait. I have it rigged on a four aught. This is the Frenzy Baits Wackasack, three eighths ounce. Uh, you can throw this on a spinning rod, but I throw it on a bait caster. The benefit of throwing a big wacky rig, summertime lead fishing, leads fishing, rock pile fishing, you get this bait down quickly with that three eighths ounce head and you get that real good wacky rig action big magnum bait, lots of movement. Let's check out the footage. The next four baits we had are all rigged the same way. This is a seven aught, uh, half ounce shaky head by striking. I believe it's the mag tour grade jig head, but we had them all rigged up as a shaky head. The first straight tail in the lineup is gonna be this guy right here. This is the Strike King bullworm, but this is the 10 inch, lot longer worm. You can see it's got a real big profile. This is one of my favorite worms to throw. When Matt and I were in Mexico, we caught a lot of fish on this worm. Uh, but what really stood out, you guys will see the footage here in a sec, was how this worm worked really well, how it looked really good when it was worked quickly. But when it was slowed down and just kind of dragged or just hopped, that tail would just kind of slowly stand up and then slowly fall. It, it didn't have like a lot of whippy action, just kind of a slow methodical action. It looks good, drug quickly on the bottom, sh you know, shaking it pretty aggressively. You know, when we were shooting this footage, we're shaking that rod tip real aggressively. Summertime, 
these fish are, are they're in warm water, it's warm weather, they're gonna be very aggressive. So a lot of times we're using heavier weights and fishing these things real erratic, real aggressive to get those bites. But this bait looked good in all the different ways that we fished it. Let's head underwater and check out that footage. The next worm that we're gonna talk about is this Excite Baits right here. This is a 10 and a half inch trick worm. This is your normal traditional trick worm, zoom trick worm. Look at the size on this magnum worm. You're drawing a lot farther away. You're trying to get those big fish, those fish that are very aggressive in the summertime. This is a great bait for throwing on rock piles, ledges, humps, that sort of thing. What really stood out about this bait, we'll check out the footage in a second, but to me was the way it, the tail just stood up. The tail always stood up, floated, had a real kind of, just a real subtle action waving in the, in the current, in the water. I think when you, if you fish this bait erratically, hop it, it'll be lights out. And I think if you drag it and shake it, I think you'll also get those finicky fish to commit. But let's go ahead and check out the footage of this bait right here. All right, so now we're gonna jump to the ribbon tail category. I have two worms for you. This is actually the Zoom Mag Old Monster. This is the 12 inch worm. The 10 inch, the Old Monster is phenomenal as well. We'll link all of these products down below in the video description. But uh, real quick guys, just like in every underwater video, 
we always learn something from the footage. Hopefully you guys are too. And uh, quite honestly, we realize that we've been rigging these worms wrong most of our entire fishing careers. Uh, ever since a little kid, I've been throwing a Zoom uh, old monster or a, a Berkeley power worm. And uh, I realized with looking at this underwater footage, comparing the actions of the tails, I've been rigging the worms uh, incorrectly, if you will. So at the end of this video, we'll circle back to these baits. I'm gonna give you guys some rigging tips, show you guys some footage. You guys can decide for yourself which way you may or may not want to rig. But uh, the Zoom Old Monster, the Mag Old Monster, the benefit of a ribbon tail worm versus a straight tail worm, you have a lot more tail action. So typically, if I'm throwing a Texas rig or a Carolina rig and I'm dragging, I am dragging with a ribbon tail worm just because you get that you got that worm, that big worm profile, but you got that action of that ribbon tail back there kicking around. But in this footage today, we had it rigged on the same shaky head just to keep everything the same, just to show you guys what these baits look like. But uh, again, ribbon tail worms, more aggressive fish, kind of a lot more commotion. You get a lot more disturbance in the water. I think you have a lot more drawing power with all this tail back there kicking around. Check it out. All right, the last worm in today's underwater video is gonna be the 12 inch Berkeley Power Worm. 10 inch, 12 inch. It is a tried and true worm, especially for you summertime night fishermen. The Power the power Worm has just been one of those baits that's been in my arsenal for a long time. I really wanted to see what this bait looked like underwater. I can tell you right off the bat, out of all the worms, it smelled the best. You know, it's got that power bait, that max scent stuff in it. So I think fish do tend to hold on to this worm a little better. Now, if we could just get this scent in that old monster, I think we'd have a perfect worm. But let's go ahead and check out the underwater footage of this 12 inch Berkeley power worm.
now that tip for you guys, we're, we're circling back to this. This is the Zoom Magold Monster. And just like any rib and tail worm, there's usually a flat side, the belly side of the worm. And traditionally, that's how I've always rigged that, that, that worm. Belly side down, this side up. But if you look at your rib and tail worms, if you follow the, the back of that bait, you know, the back of that bait, it leads down to the tail, which is a flat part. Then you have the curly tail over here. What we tried doing with this underwater footage is rotating the bait and turning it sideways, rigging the, the belly to one side, the same side that would make the tail curve straight up. It makes the bait more balanced. It makes it more symmetrical. It makes the kick more in line with the bait itself instead of four or five inches out to the side of the bait. If you rotate this bait, rig it sideways, it now rotates that tail up vertically above the bait so it actually looks a lot better coming at you under the water. Now I'm not sure if it's right or wrong, but again, underwater footage, you're always learning something. So take a look at this footage. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think. Let's take a look. Well, there you have it guys, some underwater footage of magnum worms. You know, there's a lot of worms on the market. Maybe in the next video, we'll get to some of the other favorites, but we got one wacky rigged, two ribbon tail and two straight tail. That will get you guys started. But how about that underwater footage of the baits rigged sideways? You know, I've been fishing for a long time and uh, watching that underwater footage with the way that tail laid out and the tail kicked straight over the bait versus out to the side. I don't know if I've been a dummy for all these years or what, but uh, leave us some comments down below in the videos or down below in the comment section and let us know what you guys think or if you guys have rigged worms like that before, but it definitely made a difference the way they looked underwater. Again, big wacky rig, two ribbon tails, two straight tails. Um, summertime is a great time to head out to deep water and throw big worms. Now let's talk about gear. I throw a, a typically a longer, heavier rod. I'm gonna go a 7.6 seven, 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 or 7.7 seven, seven heavy action rod. You want that little bit longer rod for casting and playing the fish. You need that heavy action because these, these baits have some weight to them. So I'm gonna go with a 7.6 seven, or a 7.7. Seven, seven. Actually, the 7.7 seven, seven X Pride is my personal favorite. And as of this video, there was a handful of them in stock. And some of the other X Prides that you haven't been able to get all year Tackle Warehouse just got an order, so go check those out too. But 7.7 seven, seven, Heavy X Pride, pair that up with your favorite bait caster. I'll throw a, a Corrado or a Metanium braid to leader, but typically a bait caster, I'm not gonna go with a spinning rod. Hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Anytime I watch underwater footage, I'm always analyzing it, and uh, I typically learn something. This time was how to rig those worms sideways. Leave us a comment down below in the comment section if that is a way that you've rigged uh, ribbon tail worms in the past or what you guys think about that idea yay or nay as always guys we appreciate the support if you guys like this video please give us a thumbs up remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't and please turn on notifications click that little bell that way you know when we're putting out videos as always guys we appreciate you have a good one